In this video, we are going to learn how to use R Shiny to create our first data science web application. A data science web application is a web application where you have got some kind of data science happening in the background. It could be a predictive model or it could be some descriptive analytics or it could be a dashboard. This is hosted on web using a web application. And the beauty about Shiny is that you as an R programmer, Shiny doesn't expect you to know JavaScript, HTML, CSS to develop this web application. A typical web application is usually developed using this tech stack, but in this case, you do not have to know all these things. But if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, your web application can look a lot better than how it would look at the end of this video. But if you do not know that, you don't have to worry about it. Shiny takes care of a lot of the underlying HTML, CSS, JavaScript part. So let's open your R Studio and then go to File, New Project, New Directory, and then click Shiny Web Application. So this is not the only way you can create a Shiny application, but if you use R Studio, this is the easiest way to create a Shiny Web Application. Once you do this thing, it's going to ask you where do you want to create this web application. So you can you can give something like Shiny Web Sample. So if you are planning to create this as a new Git repository, I mean, if you are going to have a Git connection to this thing, so you can initialize a Git repository with this. But if you do not have a plan for that, you can just ignore it. And if you want this to open in a new session, you can take this thing. Otherwise, if you want this, this particular session to get replaced, you can just click Create Project. So now R Studio is switching to this new Shiny Web Application project. So now you can notice that in this current folder, you have got an app.r file and then you have got an R project file. So there are multiple ways to create a Shiny application. In this case, it is a single monolithic file, but in other cases, you can have two files, which is ui.r and server.r. So let us go ahead with this, whatever that R Studio has created for us and see what, what does it look like? How does it look like? So once you have the Shiny application in place, so you have to click this run app button so you can you can select do you want to see it in a new window or an external window or just in the viewer pan viewer pan is this thing so let's start with the viewer pan run the application and you can see that this is this is your ip address where you can see this thing so you can also see this thing here but let's let's go to the browser and then put the ip address and see how does it look um it looks nice so we have a slider on uh, that slider controls the bins of the histogram. So th th this is the shiny application that we have got. So let us stop this and then start making a little bit of changes. So before we make changes, let us have a little bit of overview about what is in this code. So this is an app dot code that defines our shiny application. So the library that we are using is shiny and shiny as we just saw that there are two major components. One is the UI component. The other one is the server component. UI component takes care of the UI elements and then the server component takes care of the logic, the server, um, the communication between the front end and the back end. So that has been taken care by the server component. So as you can see that this, there is a sidebar and there is a plot that has been displayed and also there is a plot that has been generated. And here when the plot is generated, you can also see that input dollar bins is the input for a number of bins. So maybe we don't have to literally change all of these things, but this is a, this being the first shiny video in our series. So let us try to understand a little bit about the shiny application. So first, let us start playing around with one of the most important thing that is available here, which is our title. So let us change this. This is one little coder. Web app. Let us save this and then run it again. So as you can see, now you, you see a different title here, one little coder web app and everything else is same. So to, to also see what this thing does, let, let us go back and open our browser. And in the browser, we can actually see that this, this web application, the, the title of this web application is one little coder web app. And also you can see in the address bar um, that there is a title. So if you, if you see the source of this code, you can see that the title tag uh, that is uh, that is usually used in a lot of um, uh, websites. So the ta the title tag is as um, one little coder web app, and also there is a title at the start which says one little coder. So th that that's our first uh, you know uh, change that we have made to our web application to see what it does. 
so there are a couple of other things that we can actually do so to start with um, instead of using the the normal plot that we have got maybe we can uh, change a, um, a gg plot or probably what we can also do is um, we can use um, something else so we can take this entire thing out um, which is our sidebar and um, we have this main plot and instead of this what we can do is instead of this what we can do is we can start displaying a simple text whenever you know something is there so let us see how we can receive text so shiny has a lot of um, input varieties so in this case we are going to say okay numeric input and uh, the name of the id is um, in this case what we have we have used bins so we are going to call it bins and we are going to say that uh, okay so to clarify let us open on the help page so that it becomes easy for us numeric input it takes the input id the, the id is what it's been used here and then it takes a label the label is to say that what is it um the label says enter the number of bins and then the default value that you want it to be it's 20 do you want any minimum or maximum value so in this case we don't want anything as such so so we are good with that um and then the next one is um you have the output so uh, let's let's keep this output um for now um and uh, let us make a small change and then the changes we have our input and that is going to get us in here and then let us try to run this app so just save it okay so we are seeing there is a there is an unexpected token so this ends here so we don't need this so let's remove this save it run it once you run it you can see that 20 is the number now so we are putting 100 so we can see that the bin value changes so 30 5 500 so we can see uh, the bin value changing in all sorts of different ways so we have successfully changed the slider as a numeric input so let us also make another change where um we we would like to make a small change in the plot um the the, the change that we want to do is in this case um, let us say instead of the color dark gray let's say we want to have blue color um, let's save it run the app wow this 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 blue is really dark 300 yeah it 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 actually looks nice right um it looks nice um it looks beautiful um let's also say that in this case um instead of just simply uh, showing the uh, plot we also want to show something to say that in the main panel we are going to also show that text um, output is um, let's say this is my first shiny app okay we are going to save it then see okay this this is um not there uh, why is it not there let's let's try to open it in the browser I'm going to open it in the browser okay it's it's not happening so we have made some sort of mistake sorry so what we have to do is we have to give the name the name is in this case output text so now we have to create a new function which is output dollar output underscore text the same name that we gave here and say render text and to say oh this is my first shiny app also along with that because this is a ui component we can add uh, some um, text uh, to it which means we can use simple html uh, scripts to it so we can say h2 of this is a subtitle sorry subtitle save it run it so we can see that this is the first shiny app this is a subtitle and that subtitle is h2 so we can stop it and then we can have h3 and save it subtitle 3 let's call it run it and you can see that the, the text that we added here is here and then the first subtitle and then you know h3 the third level of subtitle is available and this this input still changes so this um the this is this uses something called reactive reactive programming back uh, paradigm it follows so anytime you change something here it changes here it's it's very similar to how your microsoft excel or any spreadsheet works so 
um this is this is about the first shiny app and if you want to make further changes you can start adding new components in here so that component can be either such as static component or it could be dynamic component that takes input from one of these fields and then it gets changed so that's pretty much it about our first shiny app and then there are multiple ways for you to deploy your shiny app and then uh, you can run it sorry uh, you can say run app then you can just run it so you can either use this and run, run it otherwise uh, you can simply use run app so either way it runs the shiny app in the current folder so once you can save it uh, you can see that this is the current project where you have got it so save it and close it whenever you want it you can open it and then successfully use the web app so this web app could be deployed in multiple different ways which we'll probably see it in uh, future uh, videos but as of now um i would be very happy to see if you ma successfully make any shiny app uh, share the screenshot with me on twitter and i would like to see what kind of shiny app you have made so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video